What's up, everybody? It's Grim, and uh, we have a real-life situation here. We just got into a minor car accident. It was actually Barbara got into the car accident. I was following her home. We were at my sister's house having a birthday party, and she was driving ahead of me, and some loser decides to swerve and crash into them. As you can see, she got sideswiped right here, heading down the highway. You can see the dent, whatever. Are you okay, honey? Mm-hmm. The kids are all right? Yeah, it was Amy was right in here, so... Yeah. Amy, Molly, Amy, you girls okay? Yeah. You guys are all right, thank God. Yeah. But yeah, we got whacked. And then, that's like, okay, it's not a super major accident, thank God. Thank God everybody's okay, but here's the ridiculous thing. I filmed this guy standing out here telling me that he was on sleeping pills. He was swerving all over the road. He was swerving all over the road. He admits to me he was on sleeping pills. He admits to me he has no idea what's going on. He admits, oh, sorry, I didn't know. I must have just whacked you, I'm so sorry. And then the cop comes and says, well, it's not illegal to be on sleeping pills and crashing into people. Like, and the cop just lets them go. We're pretty mad. So we have to go to the state police, fill out a form, and then we're going to go home. Is that legal? I don't know. If someone admits that they're on sleeping pills and driving? <laughs> Apparently, that's what I the mean, cop says. He goes, well, it's not illegal to take it. legal. Which is mind-blowing because apparently you're not allowed to drive under the influence. And that's under the influence of medicine. Moron. But I'm glad you're okay. People crashing into my dog hat. So I'm at the police station now, the state police. They're supposed to take care of this situation. We'll see what happens. Okay, so now we're home, and I talked to the insurance company, and on Saturday, we're gonna get my car fixed, and we're gonna get a rental car, which is pretty cool. So I'm wondering what kind of rental car we're gonna get, because I have a feeling we're gonna get stuck with something stupid. And this is why, like, I'm so upset about this. This idiot can just swerve and crash into my car and mess everything up, and it's gonna cost me a $500 deductible for my insurance, and then I gotta drive around my family in a Wienermobile rental car this week. I work hard, damn it. I work hard to buy a nice, beautiful, brand new car for my family to keep them safe and, and to transport them around town. And thank God it did its job of keeping them safe from the idiots out there who drive around like a bunch of morons. And, and I'm mad because I work hard and then some dumb idiot just destroys the car that I work hard and pay my money for. And I'm really upset about it. And you know, you guys know all about the Toyota Highlander. We bought that Toyota Highlander in a vlog here a few years ago. It was like two years ago, remember? Heel wife wants the big black one. Well, that was the big black one, and that's what I bought her. And I bust my hump every damn day, working hard to, to, to provide for my family, and I provide them with that just for some idiot to take it away. Not that it's destroyed, not that it's going away, but it's gonna be missing for a week while it goes off and gets repaired. And this butt crack just gets to drive around. Uh, you know, I'm going to show you the clips here because this this jerk just drives around in a rusty old beat up pickup truck, which is fine. You know, I, I'm not trying to pick on his life choices or what have you, but you know, you're driving around on a piece of junk. You don't care if you clunk into things. I know. I was poor for a long time and drove around pieces of junk. And you clunk. I never clunked into people's cars, especially people's nice cars. But yeah, you hit a shopping cart, you don't care. You hit a curb, you don't care. You hit all kinds of street signs, you don't care. You swipe up against the trees, you don't care. Because your car's a piece of crap. And you just don't care. But that doesn't mean you could drive like some jack wagon and go crashing into other people's nice cars. And then on top of it, the dude's driving under the influence. He said he started a new medication, that he was on some sort of sleeping pills, and that that's why... He said, oh, I must have been falling asleep. I was driving behind Barbara. And as I'm driving behind her, I see this guy swerving. And I'm trying to tell Barbara, get out of the way, get out of the way. I, I, I guess she didn't see that he swerved. And then, then she tried to back off. And then he backed off too. And then he swerved right into her. Moron. What a moron. I, I, I swear he almost did it on purpose. Like he wanted to talk to her or something because he was trying to keep up with her. And then when she slowed down, he slows down with her. And then, pow, he runs right into her because he's too stupid. And I'm really, 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 really mad about it. The fact that somebody can just drive around, crash into my car. God knows what it's going to cost to fix it. I'm going through his insurance company. Luckily, I don't have to pay that. I only have to pay my deductible. My deductible is $500. That's a lot of damn money. So, I don't know, guys. I'm going to show you these clips right now. So you can see in the daylight, it was still a little bit light out. There's the damage and this dummy that whacked my car up. Because he was behind me. 
Yeah, it was it this. More like the and it hit here. It hit right here. I just was so scared that she I'm was so hurt. I'm so sorry, Owen. Really, I'm so sorry. Miss. At least you were able to I keep never, control of the car. I never drove drunk. I never did anything but getting into accidents. It's just, I, it's like this time of day is like dark. So it's like, you don't know what. Like, yeah, but like you were weaving, you were weaving in and out of the lanes because I was on the parkway behind you guys the whole time and I seen you in and out, in and out, and then all of a sudden you just wham right into it. Like she wasn't even there. Sorry, I'm so, so sorry. Yeah, I, I can't even tell you how much sorry I am about, you know, how you have a moment to do that. that my daughter was yeah, there. I'm so sorry. I so scared. Are they okay? Yeah. Are you guys okay? Yeah. Shaking. I was in the left lane and I was contemplating on going into the exit, into the exit. So, and I wasn't sure if the exit was coming up close or it was the next exit. Do you have insurance? Yeah. time that ever happened in my, in my life. Probably You're not drunk or anything? No, I haven't. I haven't had, I quit drinking years ago. I haven't had nothing to drink. What kind of medicine did you take? You said you took medicine. It's something called Zolbatan. Zolbatan? Zolbatan. What's that for? It's, for? it's for sleeping. Maybe you were falling asleep? That's why you were weeping? <laughs> yeah, it's, if I was reading about it. It says, yeah, it's, it's really sleeping medicine. Be I didn't take then. it. I didn't take it. I took it. I took it last night. And that was then, the last time you took it. Last night, and then and then um, I woke up th this morning, and I was so tired. I slept. I didn't wake up till like two hours ago. You had to have been drowsy because I was behind you. I just seen you were going weaving back and forth, and like I was even scared. With a big I did. Blasted at me. Or I did oh. twice. I'm like, what the fuck is this guy doing? And then all of a sudden, bam. I said I fucking knew it. I said I knew it. he was gonna crash into yeah, somebody. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry, Doug. I'm so sorry to the family. You know. All right, well. And then you know, I watched this footage back uh, that I took, and and. You know, I sort of felt a little sorry for the guy. I mean, he was very apologetic. At least he wasn't like a jerk. Like, he's an idiot and he's a moron and he doesn't know how to drive, but like, he wasn't a jerk at least. You know what I'm saying? He was very apologetic. He was very sorry. And he sort of stood there and made you feel bad for him. Like, I wanted to, you know, at first when I seen him whack into her, I was ready to get out of the car and I was just ready to, and then all of a sudden he's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm on these sleeping pills. And like, okay, fine. You screwed up. We're human. Everybody makes mistakes. You know, crashed my car up and and, and you smashed it because you're stupid and you're a moron. But okay, fine. Everybody's allowed to shit the bed once in a while, right? Okay. Here's my thing. You clearly heard the man admit that he took sleeping pills. They made him super sleepy. He slept all day and it made him super drowsy. And he's driving around. Okay, fine. But then, when the police came, the police came, asked what happened, took all our information. The police let him drive away. The police should not have let this man drive his car away if he's self-admitted that the sleeping pills made him drowsy and that's why he's weaving all over the highway and why he crashed into us. Am I right or wrong? And here I am arguing with this officer. You just let him drive away. And he goes, well, it's not illegal to be on sleeping pills. I said, okay, yeah, no, it's not. Well, it's not illegal to drive when you're on sleeping pills. I said, it says, do not operate heavy machinery. when eh, That's driving under the influence. How is that not? That's just like being drunk or being on drugs. Sleeping pills are a drug. And if the man is clearly not in his right mind and clearly asleep, we're very lucky that nobody was seriously hurt or killed by someone driving around on sleeping pills. You can't allow that to happen too stupid. But the police officer allows this to happen. And, and that's my biggest issue here. I'm mad about the car. Luckily, the car could be fixed. Okay? We have insurance. That's why we have car insurance. That's why you should always have car insurance. The car will be fixed. The car will be back in action next week. We can still drive it around all crashed up and just look like, you know, a bunch of jamokes with a crashed up car. 
we'll get the car fixed. Thank God Barbara wasn't hurt. Thank God the kids weren't hurt. Thank you, Lord in heaven, for protecting them. Thank you, Toyota Highlander, for protecting them. But I just don't have any faith in the police to protect the people anymore. If you're going to allow somebody to drive around self-admittedly on medication like that, you can't just let a guy drive off after crashing into somebody who says, I'm on medicine. It messed me up. I mean, come on. I'm really, really upset about it. And, and I hope that nobody ever else gets hurt out there. You know? And, and, and I'm sorry. I want to apologize to you guys. I wanted to bring you guys, you know, a much better video today. Because I really wanted to come home. I'm pretty mad at Barbara. And, and, and we haven't talked about this yet. And she doesn't know that I know that she stole my WWE 2K19 content. She stole videos from me, uploaded them to her channel, Dollcats World. <laughs> and, and it was a video that I didn't get to put out yet. Razor Ramon vs. Diesel in a Hell in a Cell match. I didn't get to put that out yet. She already uploaded it. And, and, and I'm just, I gotta talk to her about it because I, I, I want her to take that video down. It's my content that I had the ability to go to Florida and to make and to record. And it's supposed to be my content. She took it from me. She thinks she's funny. I should copyright her channel. And, and I got to talk to her about it. But I want to—I I can't do it today after she just got into a car crash. I mean, I, that, that'd be inhuman of me. So I, that's why I didn't do it. And I might not do it tomorrow either. But I'm still really upset about it. Um... So we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Guys, I thank you guys for watching the video. I'm sorry. Sometimes real life gets in the way. But I still wanted to bring you guys a video today. Let you guys know that we're all okay. Thank God we're all okay. We're going to be able to get the car fixed. It wasn't my Camaro. It wasn't the new car. I put out a tweet. I said, oh, guys, we got in a car accident. And everybody's like, no, not the Camaro. Thank God it wasn't the Camaro. But I'm still upset that it's my Highlander. It's still new to me too. I mean, but uh, we're going to get it fixed up. His name's Trailbreaker, by the way. And uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Please like the video, leave your comment, subscribe for more. And if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah.